Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Oz, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something a little bit different, hopefully you will enjoy it. And apologies if I sound a little bit jaded. It's the third time I'm trying to record this. Today we're tackling flower. After my, my recent engagement with Journey, I thought to revisit this and see if I still hold it in as high as esteem as I think I do. And we're here in our apparently very dilapidated apartment. And yeah, let's see if we can make things better for ourselves. Let's start by checking out our little friend over here. Okay, so let's get this started. This is Flower. I adore this game. It is as weird as that may be. It is one of my favorite games. When I think just games in general, not within any sort of specific category or anything. I love RPGs, especially JRPGs and action games and stuff, but Flower is still one of my favorite games just for being, I don't know, it's, there's just something about it. I, I stumble upon it on release, so to speak. I think Flower is actually one of the very first digital games I ever bought, if not the actual first one. It's just a meaningful game to me, for reasons, which I will attempt to explain up to a point, but it is, it is a hard thing to grasp. It's just, I, I came upon it at the exactly correct time. And that's the best way that I can describe it. And in case you don't know what flower is, like in case you're, watching this and you have no idea, I've never seen this game, and you're just, what, what even is this? <laughs> so, in this game, we play as the wind, basically, and our goal is to collect petals by touching, quote-unquote, the flowers on the field and making them bloom. And this game, on release, it got a lot of flack for people saying it's not really a game or power. I think it was like one of the very first really divisive games in terms of, is this a game? And that seems really quaint to me now, because I mean, this debate still exists of games being games, like are, are games games? Like when, whenever an artsy, interactive art thing gets released, people always make these questions of, is this a game? Is, is this worth my time? And if Flower is worth your time is a more personal question, but the question of if, is it a game? always seems completely stupid to me because of course it is flower is a game because it has gameplay and i think it has something that is <laughs> very unique to games which is it has level design it has goals and not meaning to spoil but it has challenge the fact that the game is not imposing yourself onto you does not mean at any point that it's not, not a game or not worthy of consideration of being 
Again, that's just, just really, really stupid to me, my opinion. But I came upon Flower when I was... I had just bought the PS3. This game was released in 2009, if I'm not mistaken. And I came upon it when I had just come off of the PlayStation 2. And during the PlayStation 2 era, it was when I started to be more expensive with games. I, during the PlayStation 2, I bought a lot of games that were like reviewed at 6 or 5 or stuff like that, just because like the review made it sound interesting and I really didn't care about the score. It's just like, this game seems like a thing that's flawed, but I would enjoy it. So I started going a lot more into things that weren't exactly the type of games that I was already enjoying and playing naturally. With the PlayStation 2, that led me to playing a lot of different RPGs, but with the PS3 was when I really started going into other genres of games. And it was funny because an indie game was a very foreign concept to me at that point in time. It's just like... Because, I, I don't know, maybe it, it was just that I didn't have a lot of contact with it. But something like this, something like Flower, like a... <laughs> let, me, let me approach this the other way around. On the PS2, I had a lot of touch with what I would call a middle game development, which is like, it's not exactly an indie game, but it's also not like a triple A, incredibly high budget game. I mean, obviously I played like Final Fantasy and that's uh, as big as a budget as you can get for the PS2. But I also played like smaller games, like the Mana Climb series or whatever it is that you call that or I know like some of the games from like Exceed and studios there are generally smaller but I always had a hard time calling those games indie in any real way because they are still like <laughs> 80 plus hours RPGs so it's just they are not they are not quick games they are not they are just not what I would ever consider an indie game they are just made by smaller teams but their scope is still astronomically high, in my opinion, like to their detriment, even. Something like this Gaia, where it's a game that you grind for hundreds of hours. And yeah, it's just, this is not that. Like Flower is very specifically a game that you're supposed to play for like maybe two hours if you play it really slowly, like I'm doing right now and yeah just enjoy it for a little bit and remember it for the rest of your life probably while i've played i don't know like four disgaea games and i have no idea what they are even about <laughs> i would never be able to tell you like a, a summary of the story there's nothing memorable about it and i know this is a pretty big shit on Sgeia, but ugh. you know personal tastes and everything not saying the game's bad it's just not for me but anyway, and like stuff like this, stuff like, oh, you, you get the things and something else appears. It's just, which is totally optional. And this to me is, this is gameplay. This is, it's my choice to catch all of these things. And it's my choice to do these things in this order. And that's the gameplay of the game. Like that is, <laughs> To try and make this argument that Flower may not be a game is completely stupid, in my opinion. And I find it funny because people still try to make that argument of like, ah, this is not a game, whenever something that is more towards the interactive narrative releases. And I don't know, there are things that maybe I would not consider games quite as easily. But I've always had a hard time swallowing that with Flower in particular. I don't know, it's just... It, it, 
it always seemed like a really bad argument for me. But anyway, this game is great, and I am playing. <laughs> In case you didn't notice, I love this game. This game is amazing, and I am playing, however, the PC version because, as I mentioned, it was originally released on a PS3, and. I don't have a way to reliably record my PS3, and my PS3 is also not very reliable in and of itself, so... To your benefit, I am recording the PC version, which probably looks better, all things considered. It's a more recent version, I can record it more reliably, so that's good. However, to your benefit, but to my, to my detriment, for sure. Because the ports of this game is very unfortunate and that's a shame i cannot i cannot express how disappointing that is also because it is it is unfortunate in really stupid ways so one of the things that really cements flower as a game to me is that the gameplay is actually quite intricate in a, in a really bizarre way. It's not a hard game to play, but I would 100% recommend that if you can at all, in any way, and if you're interested about this game, please look up, like try to play the original, like on, the, on a PlayStation system, because the port it has two problems and they are both I mean it has one problem that has two aspects and the problem is control and user input and here's what I mean the original game was controlled with the motion sensor of the DualShock 3 and it's worth noting I am using a DualShock 3 right now and it doesn't work I have seen like one or two reviews saying that you can get the motion controls to work exactly like they did on the on the original PlayStation 3. I've tried that for hours and I could just I could just not get it to work. And Flower is probably the only time I have ever played a game with motion controls that I thought the motion controls were not only adequate but just downright perfect. Like, there is nothing wrong with the motion controls in this game, and they are actually the correct way to play the game. It's just, it is inexcusable to me that the port doesn't find a way to utilize the, the motion sensors in the controllers that it has. But it gets worse. So, in the absence of the motion controls, I control the thing with the stick, like with the left stick. And that's adequate. That's like, okay, I can deal with it. It's fine. It poses some weird problems, like turning is a lot more restricted than it was in the original game, because here, the most I can do is kind of this, like an arc, and it's weird to turn kind of towards the camera you have to angle the stick in a bizarre way and it does a, a weird like turning motion it, it's it's bizarre it, it's <laughs> it's not great but the real problem is with the speed because the original flower had analog speed and it was it was very specifically designed in the sense that all of the buttons would make you propel forward. In here, if you go into the options and you will take a look, the control inputs are very, very restricted. You have it, there is one button that will make you propel forward. I'm, I have it set to cross and I am moving with the left stick. However, in the original game, all of the buttons would propel you forward and you would steer with the motion controls. 
And the thing is that pretty much every single button on the on the DualShock 3 is pressure sensitive. And that meant that you had an analog control for speed. While here it's just this, which is not pressing anything at all, you're just kind of drifting forward. Which is extremely slow, I don't know if that's coming across, but this is very very slow. And this also has some momentum because I was going really fast, but like... Yeah, this is just going forward with nothing pressed. You can check the grass for like a, a measure of how fast that's going, or not at all. So it's either this or full clip speed by pressing the propel button. And that's too fast. You would never really go at this speed at normal gameplay unless you were trying to clear an entire like unless you're trying to clear the field. And oh let's get that thing over there. And the problem with this is that it actually makes the game a little bit harder than it was supposed to be. And the solution that I found was that the best way to move in this game in a way to replicate the original speed is instead of holding the button, you just kind of tap it. Not too fast, you're not trying to mash it, just tap it. Like two or three taps per second. And that gives a pretty good speed. Like very comparable to what the original game was. However, that is that is a very active thing to be doing while playing this game that is supposed to be relaxing and taking you out of the whole experience. You're not supposed to be aware of the game controls. And the original motion controls were so good at that because you just... I think Flower is the only game I've ever been immersed in. And that you could just be holding a controller and just forget that you're doing it entirely and just moving around and enjoying the sounds and the visuals and just being relaxed and I don't know it was just so good and this is not this is the PC port of flower is very unfortunate in the sense that it makes you very aware of the game and that's it's a shame that is a terrible terrible shame that's okay. It's perfectly fine for this. You don't have to control it anyway, this is on me. You can just enjoy pretty visuals. And damn, are the visuals pretty? Hmm. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. This game just makes me happy. <laughs> it's, and it's also why I chose to play it now. Because I, I kind of need it. <laughs> ah, we got three things, nice. So our situation seems to have improved a little bit. Which is nice, I appreciate that. 